All right, welcome back. Hope you're having a good day. Tiger Bark cutting. I'm gonna give you guys just a couple quick pictures. When it started off, I was able to finally get one from its kind of, I guess, birth date, which would be uh, November of 2020. And then the last time I did anything with it, which was uh, April 14th or 15th, I think maybe, of this year. Now I'm gonna come, you know, today I'm gonna give it a hard prune. I'm gonna give it a good wiring. That last time in April, took the wire off and I gave it a hard prune. The wire was biting into the tree quite a bit and everything. I just kind of wanted to let it be for a, a little while. And one thing I've discovered with this type of uh, ficus here, and it really does seem to be, you know, it is a variation of a microcarpa. And I've got a ton of microcarpa, but this is a different, you know, the, the tiger bark variety, if you will. And it just seems to really grow very fast, which makes it, you know, for me, you know, really fun to work with. But also, you've really got to keep up with it. I try a lot to kind of, you know, let them be between prunings and things like that. But this is definitely, you know, a type or a subspecies or whatever you want to call it that you just have to keep up with quite a bit, prune quite a bit, check for wire scar quite a bit, things like that. All right, so one of the things I have figured out without pruning, the branches will stay pretty flexible. And so I was trying to just kind of let it go for a little bit longer, you know, maybe give this guy a good, you know, big wingspan to start off with. That'll give me a, a nice fat base. I am trying to not, you know, give this guy a bunch of chop scars where I let it, you know, run for a long time and everything. The other, the other, you know, negative part, and it's not that bad, but the other negative part I find with this species in particular is that you start to grow, it gets this big head of steam, gets this long branch going here, and then it starts getting a bunch of ramification here at the end. And I don't want the ramification at the end. I'd like for it to start a little bit closer to the tree so obviously it's time for a prune. I am gonna start here branch by branch and I'm gonna start low, kind of work my way up, see how much you know I can show you guys. This one has, it's got a couple little small spindly branches. One of them's actually dead, but a couple branches growing right into this other one, way too close together. So I'm gonna cut those off. This one did start growing right out of the end of the uh, previous chop, which turned out good. I, I like that. But then this one actually came out much stronger, and this one already had a little branch on that side. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off there. And again, that should help with taper and everything too. And then I'm going to go ahead and just take this off, basically where it was getting, where it was getting all that extra ramification at the end there and everything because I do want to keep the ramification lower if I can. And then probably just go ahead and just take the growing tip off here and take the growing tip off here too. And then as I work my way up, this would be the next one. This is another one that worked out well in that it started with the branch coming right off the end of the chop mark there. This one I'll keep. And then this one I'm going to keep trying to decide about how far I want it out. It's got two branches coming there. There is a little more ramification on top there. If you guys can see that all that well. I'm gonna take at least that much off. There's a third branch coming there that I'm gonna take off and then just the very, the growing tips here again. And then this third branch here, which I probably had the most movement out of the last time there, I just broke it off, but that's actually, you know, that's kind of the definition of die back there. I had the most movement coming out of there. When I did the pruning the last time, it did not sprout again here. And I, you know, I do notice that on these ficus that if they find someplace else to just kind of grow instead, it'll go there and just kind of give up on the end. I was gonna try to bend it down some so I could show you how much movement was in there. And so for these two, since this one just kind of sprouted out, those two there, I'm gonna take the, this one starting to get about three pieces of ramification coming off there, so I'm gonna take those off. And then just these growing tips here. And when I wire it, I, may, I might, might take, eliminate one or two more of those too. And then this one, again, starting to get, 
It's getting three sprouts on the end there with three growing tips. So I'm just going to take all three of those growing tips off and leave everything else. Now, when I'm done pruning and I get the wire on here, it would be a lot easier, it'd be a lot more photogenic if I went ahead and defoliated too. But I don't think I'm going to. I think it just kind of actually helps with dieback and everything if you leave if you leave the leaves on there. It's really hard to explain sometimes how I how I'm thinking of it, but it, it gives the branch kind of like a reason to live. And then, you know, it, there's a better chance of it sprouting there instead of, you know, becoming dieback like it has. Although, I mean, with a tree growing as vigor vigorously as this, probably not going to matter all that much, but still, I'm just trying to save as much as I, you know, as I can. And then I'm unsure, you know, I could... There's some different fronts I've always kind of looked at at this one. I've kind of always thought about this one as being one. The bottom most branch is actually back here, but that would be a back branch to kind of provide some depth. And then I got my left branch, right branch. And then the next one is actually right here. And so I'm going to go ahead, got a little bit of a knot there anyhow. I'm going to go ahead and just take that one off. And then the next one after that would be right here. And that is fairly skinny in that I'm going to go ahead and just take all these growing tips off. And again, once, once I get some wire on here, I may eliminate a little more than just these growing tips. But for now, I'm just going to take the growing tips off. And the branching up here towards the apex, because I have, and if you go back and watch my old videos on this, I have actually cut the apex back quite a bit. And I can actually even show you right here. It's a little bit of a uh, part of the reason why I wanted to keep it small is because I wanted to avoid chop marks. But I actually, you know, there's a bit of a chop mark here. There's actually, another chop mark like right there. So I'm trying to avoid too much of that. Although, probably going to cut some of this apex back here in a minute. And then the rest of these. So again, this is just the fourth branch, the fifth branch. And then there's like three more. This one was growing fairly strong. And then all of a sudden, these are all like the same height. I should mention, I have actually cut the apex back, back um, at least once. I believe one time it was just because uh, it was getting really top heavy. And it was blowing around out in the wind a little bit too much. I didn't really want it disturbing, disturbing the uh, roots. So I went ahead and just cut the uh, apex back a bit. And that could be why they're so uniform in height here. I think what I'm going to do, just to retain some movement, is go ahead and take this one off completely. And then just lose, lose these growing tips up here. And now we'll get some wire on it. All right, so I got the wire on there. The uh, the lower branches here, I don't think I'm gonna get too much more side to side movement out of main parts that were on there before April 14th, but I did try to wire them all the way out to every tip. I think I'm gonna have to. I did some smaller wire on some of the secondary branches and then anchored the bigger ones together. I may have to come back and instead of taking all the wire off i may end up having to take the uh secondary branching uh off wire off just simply because of how fast it grows and how much uh quicker that's going to bite in as compared to where i anchored some of the uh larger branch all right so i'll start low again some of the ones that were kind of thick and lignified main thing i wanted to do was just get them lower again this one Get some side to side movement in there. And then from, you know, here was the chop scar and then here's the newer piece that kind of grew. So hopefully I can get plenty more movement out of there. It's a pot I've gotten a lot of, a lot of use out of. I think whenever I go to repot it, it's probably gonna break. And then I anchored those two together. That is where the fatter part is there. 
So again, just to get that down low again. That was a break in the in the pot, not the branch. And then maybe get some up and down movement in there. And then this secondary branch here. I did also pull a little bit of wood out of there with the Dremel, just in the hopes that that doesn't turn into a knob of any sort. And then some more movement out of this side. Now I actually anchored that one down with this one. But I did get a couple turns in there. And in hindsight, I cut off the piece of the apex that was shooting that way. I maybe should have considered keeping that one and cutting this one off, but it just seemed so much stronger coming out of that side. I wanted to wanted to kind of weaken the apex some because I'm really finding that I'm enjoying some of these. Uh, oh, not so much planning on making like a sumo out of it, but I do find that I enjoy letting these uh, lower branches get get to a bigger f wingspan and also if I can get this in a shallower pot and get it really root bound maybe get it to drop some uh, some air roots coming from those uh, branches and everything should look really nice again if I would have defoliated it would have been a little more you know a little more photogenic looking or whatever but this should you know enable a quicker recovery and we'll see what happens in a few months.